Hello everyone, my name is Ubersui and welcome to Ubersui Labs. This is something I created just to have a space to play around with different ideas and test things. And today I'll explain everything you need to know about the schematic cannon. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is a schematic and quill. And to craft one of these, you just need a feather and a empty schematic, which you make with some paper and some light blue dye. Once you have a schematic, you'll get this little blue box here. And this blue box is marking the area that will be your, your first selection. So what we want to do is create a box around the item or thing, the contraption that we want to copy or building or whatever you might have. And you can also hold control and use your scroll wheel to place the box in the air somewhere. You find a spot on your building or object and right click. And now you'll see at the bottom of the screen, it says first position set. Now, if you selected the wrong area, you can shift click and it will remove the selection and then right click again to select the new selection. What you want to do, you have this box, right? So you want to place it so that it covers the whole object. In my case, I'm going to place it right here. Boom. And now I right clicked again to set the second position. And now just look in the air and right click and we'll be able to save our schematic. Once you have a name, you can either click the save button. This will create a file which you can access via the schematic table or use the save and upload immediately to convert your schematic and quill into a schematic. I'm just going to go ahead and save mine. If you're using Forge and you have a mod pack, you can click the three dots in the top right corner here, and that will allow you to click on open folder, which will show you all your Minecraft instance files. If you're not using CurseForge, you can just open the folder directly. In your instance folder, you should have a folder called schematics, and this is where all your schematics will be stored. As you can see, the schematic we created just now is right here. This is a file that you can share with other players if you'd like, and all they have to do is place it in the same folder. Same thing if you want to download schematics from others or you have friends that want to share them, just put in this folder. Once you have the schematic saved, either because you made it like we just did here or because you've imported the file, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to go up to the schematic table and take an empty schematics and put it into the slot on the left side. In this field, we can select the schematic that we want. Currently, I only have one schematic, which is the one we made, and that's the one we want. With this button, you can also open the folder where all your schematics are stored. Now, go ahead and click the check mark. This will create a new schematic with the schematic we've selected. This schematic is now ready to be placed. By holding the schematic in our hand, we'll get a box that indicates where we can place the schematic. Once we find a good area, we can right click to place. By holding left control, we can adjust the placement on the X and Z axis using the scroll wheel. By holding the left alt key, we can adjust the type of movement. So here we can adjust the placement on the Y axis only. We can also adjust the position of our placement. And we can also rotate and mirror. If you're in creative mode, you can use the print function to simply print the schematic. However, if you're playing a survival, you need to use the schematic cannon, which I'll do in this video. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure we have an inventory next to the cannon that contains at least all the blocks that we'll need for our schematic. Then we can place our schematic into the schematic cannon. The schematic cannon will also need some gunpowder in order to place all the blocks, so make sure you have that. To make sure that we have all the materials that we'll need, we can take a regular book and place it inside the schematic cannon and that will give us a material checklist. This checklist will show you how many items you need or if you have everything. These green check marks means that I have everything. You can place the materials checklist inside the cannon to update it as you put more items in your inventory. Once you have everything you need, you can go ahead and press play on the schematic cannon. It will now start placing all the blocks in the schematic. When it's done, it will make that ding sound. 
you can now go back to your cannon and you'll see that it's finished and you'll also have an empty schematic which you can use again for placing really large schematics you can use an item vault instead of a chest so uh i've set up a cube here which has some solid blocks and non-solid blocks so the solid blocks are the brass casing here and the non-solid blocks are the torture basically non-solid blocks or anything that would get uh broken if like i dump water on these so i've just set up a lot of them just to show you how the schematics work and what i've done is i've created these four cannons here which are going to place four different cubes and they're going to place one cube for every configuration here so we have don't replace don't replace with solid blocks we have replaced solid with solid we have replaced solid with any and we have replaced solid with empty so those are the four different configurations this one is set to replace solid with empty it will go over on that side uh here we have replaced solid with any which will be the next one and then we have replaced solid with solid which will be the third one and then very last we will have don't replace solid blocks basically so we can go ahead and start these Boom. and there we go now it's done so let's go ahead and take a look at these the first one is replace solid with empty. This removes the blocks on the inside. And as you can see, all the torches are here and it's completely cleared out. The next one we're gonna look at is replace solid with any. As you can see, it has not cleared out the inside area, but all the blocks in our schematic are here. We can see all the torches and all the brass casings. Even if I look back here. Now for this next one, we have replaced solid with solid. So we won't find any torches where there were solid blocks where we placed our schematic. As you can see, there are no torches here, but it still placed the torches up above where there is just air. But all the brass casing is here. So compared to our other one, you can see there's lots of torches down there, but no torches over here. Now, if we look at our final cube, which is don't replace solid, you will see that almost half of our cube is missing. This is because anywhere where there was solid blocks, we didn't place any blocks. And as you can see, I'm digging down here. There's no more brass casings. So that demonstrates the four different configuration of the schematic cannon. I hope that helps. I have also included my test area as a schematic in the description below. So feel free to take it and play around with it in your creative world or your survivor world if you want. Schematics can be pretty huge. They're not limited to small objects that I've shown today. Here are some examples from my creative world. Basically, I take schematics of things in my survival world, and then I import them here to build them, design, play around with. And then I import them back with the schematic cannon. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like. And if you want to see more of my content, please hit that subscribe button.